Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. In today's video, we're going to be discussing the immune responses to allografts. It is going to be a rather short video, so let's get started. First of all, we have to know that the transplanted cells are going to be recognizing uh, self or non-self cells based on the polymorphic genes. Now here, I'd like to address something. We know that these MHC complexes or HLA or the human leukocyte antigens are going to be very different. It's like your fingerprint, right? It's going to be completely different for every single or uh, every single individual. And this is how our immune system is going to be reacting. If these recognize, uh, if our body recognizing these fingerprints to be identical to the ones present all around our body, therefore they're going to be letting them go. If not, then we are going to be eliciting an immune response. Here we have to stress on the fact that no two MHC complexes, and I'd like to just like add a slash here or HLA, are identical between different individuals unless they were identical twins, with, uh, identical twins, which explains the lack of immune rejections of allografts. Now, naturally, if the graft was from the same organism, it is going to be accepted since the, the MHC are going to be um, they're going to be all the same. If the graft was mouse A to mouse B, then definitely it's going to get rejected. Now, here is the tricky part, right? So if the graft was from an inbred hybrid A and B, so if we're taking a part, we're taking a few skin cells from a hybrid that is A and B, it has these two MHCs, and we add this graft, these set of cells, to strain B of the mouse, it is going to get rejected because this mouse B does have the MHC of, well, the, the, the B part. However, it does not have the A part. So if it doesn't have the A part, then naturally this is going to be, th this mouse B is going to be eliciting a response against the MHC of the a part of the hybrid, right? So it is going to get rejected. I hope you're copying with me. It is very important to understand this distinction. Now let's go to the other, uh, on the other hand, if the graft was from strain A to an inbred hybrid that is going to be A and B. So I just like to uh, explain one thing here, right? So we're going to be, when we're talking about hybrids, they have the, both the MHCs, MHCA, let's, let's just label them this way, MHC of mouse A and MHC of mouse B. So if we take the graft from mouse A to this hybrid, well, it is not going to get rejected because this inbred is going to be recognizing, oh, wait, I know this A, right? So I'm not going to be inducing an immune response. However, if this inbred, the A and B is going to be giving only B, that means the A part is going to be eliciting a rejection here. I hope this is clear. I know it is just a, a something that, um, uh, it is actually very fun to explain. However, it might be a little tricky at first. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comment section below. This has been Ali from B Biology.